how to make a lives counter in Unity. Follow these steps. Go to Canvas. Select 2D mode. Go to texture type of the sprite and select Sprite, 2D and UI. Now, go to UI, Row image and apply the texture. Drag it into texture and you got it. It's a heart shape. Now, move the shape of the heart to the top left corner. Add one more thing. The white background, a simple object under the heart. Make it rounded, select one of the round sprites that I described in the mobile input tutorial. The next thing is to import Text Mesh Pro. What exactly is a Text Mesh Pro? It's something that we use when we want to add a text with some special effects. Add an empty object that will be the game manager. Add component, write game manager, which is a C-sharp script. To add the game over text, go to UI Text Mesh Pro. Then, instead of saying new text, you have to say game over. Just increase the font size and to make it even better, add some kind of stroke. And one more thing, add a button under the text. Button is also Text Mesh Pro, because the original button is becoming obsolete in the next versions of Unity. And that will be the button that if you press, you can restart the game. Now you should copy the heart object two times, and add one more transparent object. I will explain it later. Define a game object that's called game over object. What does it actually mean? The game object is a component that defines everything you want to use in your game. Heart zero. These are the three hearts. The heart object on the left is simply a white sprite with the alpha turned to zero to make it transparent. And one more thing, public static int health. The static int is always the same value in the game. Health equals four. And why is it equal four and not three? There are three objects on the screen. Well, it comes to the fact that I wasn't able to make this game work with only three hearts, so I'm adding one invisible heart that will be treated as the fourth object. In the void update, there's something kinda different to add. Switch. In the switch, there's a bracket, and in the bracket, there's health. It switches the health value from the number four, which is the largest where all game objects are active. Heart zero game object set active true. Other game objects are also true. And just copy what you defined in void start and add the break. It's the keyword that ends every case in the switchable. Now the case three, if the variable goes down, you change simply the third game object it becomes false. The case 2. Well, the case 2 makes sure that the second heart is also false because you can't see it on the screen, meaning that you only have two more chances for the bullet to strike you into your player or to fall out of the screen. In the case 1, you select only heart 1 to be active. The default meaning that if the player collects all three negative points, will set all objects to false, and the time scale will be zero, meaning that you can't move your player. One more thing, the game over object will be set to true, which means you can see the game over object and you can press the restart button to play the game again.
in the response script, instead of saying fixed update, say update. Game manager dot health is negative equal to one. This means that you lose one point of the health variable every time the bullet touches your player. It says to bring back the time scale to 1 to allow your player to be moved. Then the game manager health brings back to the original value 4. And scene manager load scene is used for reloading the scene after game over. To reload the scene, go to build settings and add open scenes. The sample scene, which is the default name of the Unity scene, will be added on the list. As you can see, the game is working smoothly, but there is only one more thing. We don't have the score system in the game. I'm sorry for being inactive. Judging with college and other channels that I have, I promise to bring back more videos to this channel. Goodbye.